dear welcome to another unity c sharp tutorial this is raja and in the last video we have learned how we can find a specific game object which has a specific tag attached from a hierarchy of game objects now in this video we're gonna learn another technique by which we can by which you can find by which you can find all the game objects with a specific tag attached in a game so let's get started suppose you are creating a game and Suppose uh, there are a lot of birds and you want to destroy all the birds at once. So what you do is uh, you attach a tag named bird to all those birds. And uh, whenever you press suppose space button or whatever, you want to just find for all the object which has a tag bird attached and you're just going to destroy all of them. So we're going to do something similar here. So we're going to select all the quads. So we're going to select this quad and from here we're going to add the tag Raja to it. We're going to select this one, add the tag Raja to it. And if we want to do all at once, if we want to add the tag Raja to every quad, we can just select all the quads at the same time. We can select this and while pressing space button, uh, I mean while pressing the shift button, we can select this one and all of this will be selected. Now from here we can select Raja at once for all of the game objects. Okay. So now all these four game objects, all these four game objects will get destroyed and only these game objects will remain in the scene. So how can we do that? So in the last video as you can see we have found uh, one specific game object by using this function but if we want to find a lot of game objects then instead of this find with tag function we have to write something called find game objects find game objects with tag okay so here we have to write find game objects with tag raja so what this will do is this will find all the game objects which has a tag Raja attached to it and then it will put them inside this but this is only one variable so this Raja can hold only one value but here we are returning multiple values since we have multiple game objects so in order to store multiple values instead of creating a simple variable we have to create an array so we just put two square brackets in front of this so now this is an array and inside this array inside this array I am storing all the game objects which have a tag Raja attached to it now just by using a for loop just by using a for loop or just by using a for each loop I can find all the game objects and I can destroy all the game objects within Raja Okay, so let's write uh, for each game object R in Raja. That means for each game object which is in Raja, we are storing it in R and then we're going to destroy that. Then we're going to destroy R dot game object. Now if you don't know about this for each loop, I have already made a tutorial about this for each loop. You should definitely check that out. So here we are uh, doing this and this is how we are destroying all the game objects in the scene which has a tag Raja attached to it. So if I go here and if I run this game right now, you will see that only these two cubes will remain in the scene. Only this one and this one will remain in the scene and everything else will get destroyed. If I run this game. 3, 2, 1, boom. As you can see, all the cubes got destroyed because all of them had a tag Raja attached to them. But only this and these cubes uh, don't have any tags. Okay. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. These things are going to be really, really helpful when you are when you're going to make practical games. So thank you guys for watching. And... In the next videos, we'll learn more and more things and for some more cool tutorials, make sure to check out the description of this video. I have linked a lot of cool tutorials. So, see you in the next video and have a great day.